yeah mohammed you can hear me now right okay 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 thank you so much for joining gaurav so how are you yeah and how is like sorry for the joining sorry for the joining late <laughs> actually the meeting id was not okay no issue no issue so please life is okay in this pandemic situation you know how it's <laughs> going on <laughs> what about you the same i'm stuck completely stuck Can't... Uh, but it is a good time to have a great family time <laughs> that's it i'm having much time to spend with my family that is okay but feeling a little bored because you know the lockdown yeah. is continuing for a long time can you yeah. uh, go up uh, please tell me something about yourself yeah uh, as a gorov bansal i have a 10 years of it experience with the relevant experience in basis 6 plus years okay because i have i have a 3 years of sap security experience and 2 years i am working in sap solution manager i started my career with pro infotech and uh, in wipro infotech i was i was a fresher so they trained me in sap basis and then i was moved to different clients like gale india noida uh, gale india noida indigo airways st micro after that in 2014 i moved to itg softwares where i worked as a sap security and auditor for a firm named opal soft it uh, it was a subsidiary of uh, itg softwares and where the client was amco technologies so the client is uh, into semiconductors is a biggest client for in the semiconductors and uh, it is it is basically held from the arizona arizona usa where, where i worked for around 3 years and i moved to infosys for a client named mercedes where i worked as a senior sap basis consultant i was leading around eight projects over there it was not a big big projects with me but it was like a small projects where i was working for eight projects in the mercedes for the for the mercedes account and uh, around 2018 december i moved to dell india where i am handling around two projects for now it both are the big projects and uh, here i am leading a team uh, basically i am a project lead for the uh, both of the two projects from offshore and uh, i uh, and i have a team of around 12 members where i have to assign a work and sometimes we have to jump in from ourselves because we are the direct point of contact for the customer so that's what i am doing and uh, we, we are working on solution manager apart from this uh, apart from this i am now working in sap basis plus solution manager uh, and uh, started now with a new project for bobj as well so let's see Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so, can you tell me what is SAP Basis? SAP Basis is a layer uh, you can say where where you put all the technical things in, uh, in, into the picture. Means like uh, if a company is having uh, means if you go for the full form, it is system application of product and the business application system information security for the for, for the technical side. But if you go for the layer wise. there is a layer of the technical require technical things in the uh, at the sap level where we need to where are different layers you need to follow up with them and uh, like a app is there then there comes uh, then there comes the security part so basis is one of the layer for the sap where we do the technical requirements like hardware gathering and all so that comes into the basis layer okay so can you can you tell me what are the different types of rfc RFC, remote function. Yeah, RFC. yeah, yeah. So different type of RFC like synchronous is there, asynchronous is there. Right. Then there is, a, yeah. Then there comes a, then some transactional RFC is there. And what uh, are actual full names? What is transactional RFC? Transactional RFC is the. Uh, transactional rfc no idea no. generally we create it uh, transactional rfc is no idea let me move to the next question uh, what is ocm and uh, how to apply ocm patches ocm patches or scm patches ocm ocm the term is ocm it is the, actually the uh, uh, abbreviation of uh, online correction system it is ocs i think so ocm online uh, ocs sorry ocs online correction system yeah uh, ocs packages are uh, like 
um, means you need to apply through the spam basically yeah so spam and send is are the tools which are used to apply the OCS packages when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the uh, other packages like uh, where you need to go for the support pack upgrades and all that that has to be applied to the sum tool so you need to need to apply through for the current version is calculated on the basis of spam and send for the packages and then you need to apply through the spam but if you went to the sp upgrade that is through some tool you need to do thank you so is it possible to install SAP patches when other users are online no no it is not possible basically uh, it, it depends uh, like like if you are going for the patches like send uh, scp and sc api then you can apply it online but the thing is when they when you apply it on online there are chances when if, if there are some I mean, in the real life environment if there are some transports or something is pending or some uh, some in incorrect requirement is there so you need to first check a backup because there can be a high chance of getting the system uh, down as well uh, so so there is a chances of, uh, so there are uh, like transport issues can be there second there can be the uh, incorrect in, inactive objects can be there so you need to first focus on both of them or you can do it online while doing the patches and get it get the inactive, inactive objects uh, activated from the developer end but it is told that the there should be a le less number of the uh, like less number of the users in the system second thing when you go for the sp upgrade there is a there you go for the upgrade for the like online activity but when you there is a phase called downtime phase where the system will be down automatically so it is suggested that user should be means like uh, out of the system from before the downtime phase itself okay so what is the difference between support package kernel and sap note support package and support package kernel and sap note yeah, support package is the basically SP upgrade. It's like a version upgrade from uh, like if you have a support package of uh, SP8 and okay. you're moving to my question was support package, not support package. Support. Yeah, S U P O R T, right? Yeah, S U double P O R T support. Yes. Yeah, I am telling the same only. Support package we say so. Support package is basically you need to uh, you need to uh, upgrade the current support package right solvents if you have a support package of 7.2 sp8 so you need to go for, from sp8 to sp9 so it is a upgrade of support package where you get for the new versions new fix, uh, fix uh, new fixes and all uh, all the new enhancements in your system like if you go uh, like if you are take example of solution in the 7.2 sp8 where SP8 is having the advanced corrections and the automatic 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 uh, runtime feasibilities, and in SP9 you, you do have with the new available uh, functionality where where you can add uh, where where you can run that uh, solution manager underscore work center with another uh, uh, I, uh, what is that? focus inside focus run also with the SP9. So third thing is uh, for the kernel kernels are just an executables which run into our system that uh, that the current available kernel is 773 uh, patch level 600 for the s4 hana uh, s4 hana s7 1909 that is the current kernel version and uh, about the s node s nodes are basically the info uh, there are two types of s node one is as in information informative nodes and second is the implementation node s nodes are just a bug fixes where you can just go for the s node search and if it is the information informative node you you have to just uh, read the note and put it into the implement into the system if it is a uh, in, implementative implementation node then you can you have to you have to basically uh, go uh, it, that node will be having the corrections and you need to go to the transaction s node and implement the s node into the system and one more thing if you go to the s node s node and download the sap node it will show you whether the node can be implemented or cannot be implemented into your system. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Basically, I was asking you some generic questions related to your field. Uh, so, can you okay. tell uh, what is your uh, career plan actually? See, basically, uh, currently I'm working as a team lead for the project. So, I just need a higher role and uh, more apart from the techno functional kind of thing because I don't want to lose my technical layer as well. 
I want uh, some challenges basically because now I am into solution manager. Currently, I'm telling you, I've worked on a solution manager project. So uh, now there is a dependency of SAP BobJ. So I'm just going to move to SAP BobJ. So, uh, so I want challenges plus I want the higher role. That is my aspiration now. So both can, uh, I know, I know, I know, I mean, it's like, uh, if I move to like the the requirement is for on site Singapore, obviously uh, there will be some higher roles or big challenges will be there. So that's why I thought of moving it there because obviously maybe that can be the good opportunity for me. Uh, okay, Gaurav, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining this discussion. Uh, as you yeah. know, it's a very initial phase of this recruitment process. So you have yeah to, yeah you told me more. You have to go to a lot of other uh, assessments. Uh, in future, mm -hmm. so uh, hopefully, so if you are shortlisted, the company will contact you very soon. Okay. So my can, can I know more? Can Can I know more? Uh, basically, a, a bit, bit about the company, whether it is a, means like a contractual position or it is a permanent with them. It is permanent position. Yes, it is not contractual. It is permanent position. But uh, right now, I okay. am not in a position to disclose the company name. You'll get to know in. No, 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 I'm not asking the company. Now. I'm just asking about whether it is a role, is a permanent or a uh, is a contractual. That is. Uh, this is permanent role. Permanent role. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Mama. Bye bye.